Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today we're talking about BitTenter Tau once again, and we're looking at subnet number 54. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin linked below the video in the description. Grab that now and let's talk about Yanez subnet number 54. Okay, so like I mentioned, Yanez is subnet number 54 in the BitTensor ecosystem. You can see that we're currently priced at 0.0047 tau per subnet alpha token for Yanez, which is equal to about a dollar and 63 cents. And I did forget to mention just yet, but Yanez mid is a subnet focused on financial crime prevention. So they generate synthetic identities and synthetic um, identity data for testing financial crime prevention systems. Again, this is a huge market. They do independent testing as a foundational pillar for robust AML programs across different financial institutions and banks on a global scale. We're going to talk about some of the contracts that they are generating in a few minutes, but the market for this problem that Yanez is solving is actually pretty large. Financial institutions spend an estimated $200 billion annually on financial crime compliance. And so because there is regulation in place with financial institutions and banks and the compliance that they need to execute on on a yearly basis, on an ongoing basis, this means the initial market for Yanez is up to $200 billion annually and probably only growing as financial crime becomes more sophisticated year over year. So the amount spent on financial crime prevention every single year is massive, $200 billion annually, and that is the market that Yanez are honing in on. Okay, again, looking at the price action here over the course, of the past month or two, you can see that we've had a pretty nice increase in price. Yes, it has been choppy. If we zoom out to the daily chart here for the price of the Yanez Alpha token, we can see that we've had a pretty nice run up here since these lows in the middle of July. We were at 0.002. So we've more than doubled the price of Yanez when priced in Tau terms over the past couple of months. Okay, again, looking at what's happening here over on the Yanez website, you can check out both Yanez.ai as well as Yanezcompliance.com. They recently also closed a seed part A round, raising $900,000 to advance the BitTensor network operations and everything they're doing on the subnet. You can check out and read more about that on their website, but you can also find out exactly what they're doing from a compliance perspective and how they're helping banks to create these identity data sets that banks can then use to test against as criminals essentially use fake identities from an anti-money laundering and know your customer perspective. So again, you can see here a little bit about how it works. Yanez generates synthetic data sets based on your risk configuration across multiple jurisdictions, ensuring consistent testing across different providers. So again, deficient AML programs have led to over $321 billion in fines over the last 15 years for different financial institutions. So it's in their best interest to essentially be compliant and using data sets that the likes of Yanas are providing to make sure they are being financially compliant and not falling predator to their customers being exposed to identity theft and AML KYC issues from customer identities being hacked into and being stolen. So manual testing that these banks are doing is obviously, uh, you know, helping to keep them compliant, but they're still spending $200 billion annually across all of these different manual data sets. So the manual testing versus Yanez's AI powered subnet automation is where they're trying to come in and be ultimately a better solution compared to the manual systems that banks are currently using to remain compliant. What this does is it means Yanez can probably provide these data sets in a much more in a much more cost-effective manner because you've got all the miners on the Yanez subnet producing these data sets that banks can then use to run those compliance and testing audits with their data and their customer data. And that helps them to 
ultimately create more cost-effective solutions for remaining compliant over the medium to long term. Okay, Subnet 54 is uniquely positioned to disrupt this industry because of the incentive mechanism in the Tau ecosystem and the subnet model. They're able to produce these data sets with the miners competing against each other in a very cost effective manner and producing ultimately better data sets that banks can use for testing all of that information. Again, you can check out lots of information over on Yanez on X on Twitter. You can check out updates at Yanez.ai over here on X. Again, seeing the investments that are being made in Yanez, seeing the um, updates that they're getting, the mentions that they're getting from the likes of the Yuma group. Again, talking about collaborations they're doing with Bitcast, just like in this specific video. And you've got a lot of different um, exposure uh, press releases that are happening for Yanez over the past few weeks. They seem to be garnering a lot of attention with this financial compliance data solution they're creating to allow banks to be ultimately more compliant in a much more cost effective manner. Where could the price of Yanez go? Well, if they can truly actually execute on some of these sticky multi year contracts that they're already securing with global financial organizations, then I do think you will see the price for Yanez continue to increase in both Tau terms and US dollar terms. But some of those sticky multi-year contracts obviously are helping to set the foundation for revenue, which is obviously a big driver for how they will ultimately become profitable. By pre providing these data sets to banks and financial institutions, they're able to begin generating revenue. And again, the stickiness of those contracts, we know the banks and these financial institutions have to spend $200 billion annually just to remain compliant. That market and getting those institutions locked in to sticky multi-year contracts is going to help Yanez secure revenue month over month, year over year for many years to come. As long as their data is better and more cost efficient for those financial institutions, I think you will see Yanez continuing to garner a larger and larger market share. I'm going to leave a link for yanezcompliance.com in the description of this video so you guys can check that out yourself. But of course, what you're looking at here is a subnet that is still very, very early in its trajectory. We've only got 2.4 million tokens in circulation with token prices at $1.65. The market cap for Yanez is sitting at only 4 million US dollars. Again, if you're thinking about the opportunity that Tau and subnets provide for you to be an early stage capital investor in a burgeoning startup, then this is a very interesting opportunity for you to consider getting into a product and a service like Yanez when it has only a 4 million market cap, a 34 million fully diluted valuation seems very, very enticing. I would like to see more contracts being um, established for Yanez. Again, you can check out their website, check out the press release about the oversubscribed funding round that they just raised. And to get more insights on some of those sticky multi-year contracts that they've already secured, you can check out more details over on yanezcompliance.com. I'm excited to see how this subnet evolves. Again, if you drop a comment below this video, I will put together a price prediction as well on where I think the price of Yanez could get to both in Tau terms and US dollar terms over the next number of months. I want to dive deeper into this subnet. I want to get a better understanding of the roadmap and the sticky contracts they're generating to see if that revenue can translate into price action to the upside for the subnet alpha token. The final thing I want to mention is it's very possible to be generating substantial staking APY if you have exposure to the Yana subnet alpha token, you're going to be getting 63, 64% APY simply from owning and having exposure to this alpha token. Again, I do think there's a possibility for us to see increases in the token price in Tau terms. But if you're wanting to get exposure now at a 4 million market cap, you're going to be generating 63.79% APY simply from holding and having exposure to this subnet alpha token. That is a phenomenal yield. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys. Always do your own research. Investing in subnets does come with extreme swings and volatility. So proceed with caution and always do your own research. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick deep dive into Yanez Subnet 54 
focusing on financial crime prevention. Again, banks and other financial institutions are required to be compliant, and Yanez is helping to solve the problems that these banks need to comply with from regulators to test fraud and AML systems. So again, I think we could see lots of adoption here moving forward. Make sure to smash that thumbs up below if you enjoyed the content. There's a thumbs up button on the screen right below my finger. Take three seconds right now, smash that thumbs up button, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Don't forget to grab your free copy of the Rise of Bitcoin. It's linked for you in the description below this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one and we'll catch you then.